Good afternoon, and I hope this video update finds you doing well and you are enjoying this fall weather that we have right now. Uh, my name is Kevin Mickle with Mickle & Associates, and today I want to talk to you about data protection and data security. Um, we all have our personal devices, phones and tablets, smartwatches, uh, computers, laptops, and we're using them uh, personally and we're using them for business. And we're using them now more than we ever have in the past. And we only need to look back to the 2016 election where the news broke out where Hillary Clinton was using her personal server for Secretary of State uh, duties and then how she subsequently uh, erased her hard drives in order to uh, remove the digital footprint of the activity that she was doing while she was Secretary of State. So, and then to this year in 2020, we have where uh, allegedly Hunter Biden took his uh, laptop to a PC repair shop um, because he had water damage and information around uh, national foreign policy and security uh, was discovered. So, you know, we may think that uh, our activity on these devices is private and personal, but you'll find out today that it's not as private and personal as you might think. And Many of you may have taken old computers and laptops and mobile phones and donated them to nonprofits, giving them to family and friends, or even sold them on eBay. But before you do that, you need to be aware of what can happen if you do that without taking the necessary steps to uh, protect yourself. Um, what I have here today, I have a hard drive docking station, a USB thumb drive, an SD card, a laptop hard drive with another uh, cable. And using free software available to anyone online, even though I may have deleted these devices, deleted the information off of them, even though I may have formatted them and erased them through formatting the drive, I'm going to show you today how you can still go into these uh, storage drives and retrieve an enormous amount of data that initially you believe is gone. Okay, so I have my laptop set up and the first thing that we will look at is we will look at this small uh, 512 megabyte SD card. And the main reason why I'm choosing this over the other option is because this will be the fastest to scan because it's not a very big drive bigger the drive, the longer this process takes. But you'll see, uh, I'll show you my screen of what's on this drive, and then we will erase it and reformat it, and then we'll see what shows up. Okay, now we're in here in the screen where I have the SD card loaded, and you can see it has Android photos, Lots of things on here. I don't remember what was on here before. But what we're going to do is I will right click on this and then I'm just going to choose a uh, format and erase it. It says format complete, close. And if I come back, you see, there's nothing on this card now. But is that really true? Okay, now the next step is I will launch the software. Now you can see that the software has picked up the storage device here, this 512 megabyte hard drive. And I just need to move my arrow keys to select it and I say yes. And then I'm going to come up and then I'm going to say hold disk here and then 
accept that. And then it's asking me, okay, where do you want to store the files that are recovered? And I'm just going to accept that spot. Okay, so now it's finished. It said 14 files were found. And now you can see these same files, which I thought were deleted and gone. They were still there. And this application was able to go back, reconstruct all of the digital data to put this information back where I could see it. So now you can see how easy it is to snoop and hack information off of these drives. And you may be asking yourself now, okay, Kevin, what can I do to protect myself? Very good question. I'm glad you asked. One of the ways that you can protect yourself is to purchase a separate drive whenever you want to get rid of your computer and purchase another brand new drive install that drive in your computer and then reinstall the operating system to that drive and pull your old drive out. That's the best way to protect yourself. And then once you pull the drive out, then you basically just destroy the drive. The second option is to use some software to wipe the drive clean, the same software freely available online that Hillary Clinton and her staff used to wipe their phones and devices of the digital footprint to hide the activity that they were doing online. The most popular version is BleachBit, which is a free software that you can download and install, and then you can use that to wipe your hard drive. So I will cut to a video and show you how to do that right now. Okay, so how can I, you know, erase this uh, SD card so that no one else can come back behind and tentatively extract the information that we erased and formatted as we just demonstrated? That's where a software like BleachBit will come into play. Um, and so what I want to do is choose uh, the icon here, and then I'll say choose wipe free space. And then from there, I will choose my the SD card and I'll say, okay. So we'll fast forward until this process is finished. Okay, so now BleachBit has wiped the space and you, you can see how it basically did it was by writing data over top of the whole free space, essentially thus erasing the digital footprint from before and putting a new footprint down. So now let's, let's go back and try to scan it again and see if we can get any information from it a second time. Okay, so now you can see that our uh, bleach bit effectively uh, erased the digital footprint from the SD card. And now we have, you know, zero files able to be recovered. And that's ideally what you want to be able to see. Okay, so now you see how easy that was. Once you run the BleachBit software, then these other software programs that are trying to go back and recreate uh, your digital footprint will no longer work because those files have been overwritten with other data. Essentially, in layman terms, that's how it works. Well, I hope you found this video informative and helpful to you. And please be sure to click the like button and leave a comment if it helped you. And then uh, share this video with your family and friends and other business uh, partners so that they can be well informed about things that they can do to protect themselves online. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button. Uh, you can go to our Facebook page and like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram. And have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.